Okay, and we are being recorded. So welcome to the UIUX Hackfest, uh, and welcome to the last meeting of the UIUX Hackfest. So today is June 1st, and we will uh, summarize a key achievement of the project, talk about them, and uh, talk about what's next for the project. So that's uh, the main objective, and uh, this is just a summary call, so we will be publishing the recording. And my next step doesn't work. Okay. Uh, so, first of all, I would like to thank all the contributors. Uh, thanks uh, for your participation during the event. In total, we have got 53 contributors. As you may imagine, I cannot put names on this slide, but if you want to see more details, uh, there is a link above. Uh, and here you can find actually uh, all the information and links it's, uh, on our UX hardware site. So, you can find more details here. Uh, we are still uh, processing uh, late reports for the contributions, so maybe the final uh, number, yeah, it may change a bit. But yeah, anyway, we got a really good number of contributions, and thanks to everyone who participated. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of people working on documentation, on UX testing, on uh, patching uh, Jenkins, and also on sharing the stories. Uh, so yeah, it was amazing for one week. Uh, event uh, during the working week. So thanks to everyone who was able to dedicate some time and help us uh, to move the Jenkins forward. Uh, and uh, thanks to the org team and the special interest groups who helped um, uh, this event to happen. So uh, it, uh, there was a lot of overtime work, a lot of uh, late night fixes and reviews uh, to keep this event going. So it's uh, much appreciated uh, and yeah, thanks. Um, and of course, thanks to our sponsors who will be helping with Schwag and with prizes for the uh, events. We will talk about them later. But yeah, again, thanks to everyone who contributed to this event. Uh, let's spend some time uh, and discuss uh, the highlights uh, you've had. So first uh, track we had is about user interface. So yeah, if you see this slide, it's not a definitely a reference user interface, but yeah, it's just a quick summary. So what we have got uh, during this hard test. Uh, so first of all, we had a redundant Jenkins configuration preview release, and we've uh, got a lot of contributions, uh, bug fixes, and um, just your uh, testing and compatibility testing there. We've released a preview of the dark theme, um, and there were many improvements in various components like credentials management, plugin script security, Jenkins core, and uh, many other components. Uh, so there should have been a uh, links to the demos. Uh, as you may see, I forgot to put it on the slides, but I can show you how to find it. So during the event, we were using Jenkins Online Meetup in order to record um, um, all the sessions we've had, and we are recording today's session as well. And if you want uh, to find a recording of um, the session, you can just go here. And you can find uh, all the sessions here. Uh, if this uh, list is uh, too big for you, uh, you can also go to the Jenkins UIUX Hackfest. Here we have a presentations tab where we aggregate presentations from all sessions we had today. So, for example, here are demo sessions, and you can find uh, uh, links to the recording here. So, while we're here, we will just put the link. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks to everyone who presented uh, their demos. Um, I will just show a number of key stories, but yeah, there is also a lot of uh, improvements and uh, later we will be following up with a blog post with a full list of contributions. So the first story, as we said, read only configuration. So now it's uh, available. So everyone who manages Jenkins' code, now you can uh, switch your configuration to the read only mode so that uh, you can occasionally uh, change um, the settings. Um, and we will keep working that in order to make more um, diagnosability analytic, analytics tools available for read only uh, admin instances. Um, Another achievement we had as Jenkins Dark team. Uh, so we started basically from nowhere. There were a number of teams, uh, but we created a new one. Um, uh, shout out to all contributors and especially to Team Jacom who was uh, driving this project. So now we have a Dark team in preview. Uh, right now there is Jenkins weekly release, which is uh, going to be released maybe in a few hours. Starting from this release, uh, this preview will be official. 
uh, but uh, even now you can uh, try it out uh, on your instances and if you watch the recording it will definitely be available so it wasn't just creating for a new dark team it, it's basically reconsidering how jenkins uh, theme extensibility works we switched the jenkins core to css variables so now themes uh, take uh, just uh, dozens of lines of, uh, of definitions instead of uh, hundreds of lines like uh, it used to be before and we also spent a lot of time on doing uh, UX testing and compatibility testing for this theme. So, for example, if you go to the repository, you can discover a lot of reported issues. And uh, this is just issues which haven't been fixed yet. Many issues have been fixed during the Hackfest. And if you're interested to contribute, you're welcome. So, this will be released uh, just in a few hours after this recording. Uh, the next thing we were working on was uh, migration of uh, user inter uh, of configuration user interface from uh, tables uh, to divs. Um, so it improves visualization of uh, narrow screens and especially on mobile devices. It also just uh, makes uh, Jenkins look better for configuration pages. This feature hasn't been uh, in integrated yet, but we are working on that. And again, we invite all contributors uh, uh, to participate. But still, the, uh, even this hard test, we did some testing, and now we have uh, much more confidence about uh, uh, this change. And hopefully, we'll be able to integrate with it um, in a few weeks or maybe in a month. So um, let's see about that. And another major uh, improvement we had is a script security plugin. So if you have ever managed um, uh, script approvals today, you may know that it's extremely difficult. So now, thanks to Vadek Folonier, we have a new web interface. Um, there, uh, there you can manage approvals, you can uh, define them, you can uh, uh, see usages of script approvals and manage them. So it's a major improvement, uh, improvement for Jenkins admins uh, who um, allow custom scripting from the, uh, the instances. What else did we had? Uh, for example, uh, there was uh, improvement in uh, auto grading plugin by Uli Hafner. Uh, now it supports uh, Excel uh, screens. So um, many reports, many static analysis reports, and summary pages now are even more extensible than uh, they um, were before. If you participated in a knowledge transfer session on Monday, you may have seen uh, how it can be developed in practice. And now you as plugin developer can uh, also adopt that. And we definitely got a great foundation for building dashboards, right, with Jenkins plugins without creating uh, any additional tooling for that. And I guess that's it uh, regarding uh, features. Again, this list is not full. We were still working on particular cases and uh, your UX, uh, I mentioned some names, but in general, we had more than 30 contributors working on this area. So thanks to everyone who helped uh, to improve Jenkins user interface and to uh, deliver uh, improvements in uh, plugins. And uh, let's switch to the documentation. Documentation is also a great part of the user experience. We have uh, good news to share there. Yeah, the, the documentation. Thank you very much to everyone who contributed to documentation. Um, Oleg, that slide was a perfect one. Is it okay if I share my desktop to show yes. the slides the rest? Great, let me do that. Mm -hmm. So. What I wanted to highlight was that We've had wonderful contributions to the user documentation. One of, our, one of our beginning points was that we have lots of information that is in the Jenkins Wiki that would be better suited and better presented if we moved it to Jenkins.io. And we've succeeded in moving over 40 documentation pages from the Wiki to Jenkins.io. In addition to that, it's now actually, 30 or more plugins that during the last week advanced their motion from using their documentation on the wiki to instead putting the documentation right inside their github repository so that it can be managed as code uh, we love that transition both the wiki and transition from wiki and the transition from wiki for plugins to documentation as code for plugins excellent result in addition we did documentation updates 
using various sources of content, the Docker Solutions page has been improved. The many sections have been added to using Jenkins, to managing Jenkins, and a substantial improvement to the Jenkins system property list. There's a, a summary recording available, the link is there. And what I'd like to highlight further is some additional changes. We switched to using GitHub issues instead of using the JIRA system for our documentation issues. And that has been a major positive. Uh, we identified a number of issues as good first issues and new contributors picked up these good first issues and, and did great work with them. Six of the 11 open good first issues that are currently open in our, our issue tracking already have someone working the issue. Great progress. Nine of the 12 closed first issues were closed during the Hackfest just last week. 26 of the 57 closed issues that have been closed in the lifetime of our time on GitHub issues were, were closed last week during the Hackfest. And 16 of the currently open pull requests are from Hackfest. So we're getting great results by using GitHub issues and great results from contributors like you. Thanks very much. Now there's still more to be done. We have over 200 pages on the wiki that need to be migrated. We've triaged roughly one third of those and need more people to help us triage them. The triage process needs someone to look at the wiki page, decide where it belongs in the Jenkins documentation set, and then to create an issue in GitHub to, to track that. So we need more reviewers. We're looking for those. Now I'd like to, like to highlight some of the pages that, that have come as a result of last week's Hackfest. So first thing to note, 36 pull requests were merged last week, and there are 16 new pull requests still to be reviewed. In the Managing Jenkins documentation, we've got a number of new additions. We've got additions in the using Jenkins, including using local language, including how do you use fingerprints, including how do you reference another project page. Those things added by new contributors as by transferring content from the wiki into Jenkins.io. Thanks very, very much. Now, in addition, we're grateful that Devin Nussbaum, one of the experts on pipeline, extracted the pipeline CPS method mismatches documentation from the wiki and placed it here, doing a, a serious and significant rework to be sure that it was current and correct. So the wiki transformation process is not just copying content, it's thinking very carefully about, is this the correct thing to say? Is this current and accurate? Similar happened for the Jenkins CLI. And we're especially grateful to Daniel Beck for his work on Jenkins features controlled with system properties. This page describes many of the properties that are in Jenkins that are controlled by very various special flags. And it helps users to know what those flags are so that if they have to control something, they can. Well, this one is worth noting for me because Daniel had to clean up a mess that I had left behind and he did a brilliant job of it so that when I hover over this link, it just works. When I click links here, it just works. In addition to the benefit of what he did there, the glossary now has the same exact capability. So I can point to one of the terms in the glossary and the links work and lay out beautifully. Special thanks to Daniel and sorry that he had to clean up my messes. It was wonderful. Grateful also for the plugin migration progress that over 400 plugins have now migrated to documentation as code and there are pull requests pending for another 90 plus. So really great results from the, the documentation portion of the one week long Hackfest. And Oleg, I think that's, that covers mine. Do you want me to continue showing slides or do you want to take the control back? I can uh, take over the control. Okay. Thank you for the some remark. Okay. Uh, so our third uh, track was uh, spread the word. Uh, basically, it was about uh, uh, promoting Jenkins um, um, and uh, reporting content, reporting user stories, and we actually had some 
So during the hot test, we recorded uh, 10 knowledge transfers and demo sessions for Jenkins users and Jenkins developers. Uh, I've already presented this link. You can find uh, the recordings there. Um, also, we were promoting uh, Jenkins stories on Jenkins and the Way portal. Uh, we had uh, eight stories uh, fully submitted there, and uh, there are some stories in progress. So hopefully uh, they will be finalized. Um, and thanks to everyone who shared their success stories about Jenkins. Um, then uh, there was a number of tweets, LinkedIn posts, and blog posts about Jenkins. Uh, if you're interested uh, to find them, uh, please use the Jenkins the way hashtag on our social media platforms. And uh, last but not least, we also launched uh, Jenkins the way comics. So just uh, let me show you these comics first. So. Thanks a lot uh, to Common Street for creating that, and thanks a lot uh, for everyone. Um, uh, so we will have more of these comics uh, uh, soon. Also, thanks a lot for your posts. I just put um, a number uh, of them on the page. They do a lot more. So thanks to everyone who shared uh, the experience from the hard test, experience from using Jenkins, or information about new features. It helps us uh, to promote the project. It helps us to onboard uh, more contributors. And finally, it helps uh, Jenkins users because uh, even, uh, the project uh, uh, gets a lot uh, more features and visibility. So thanks you. And uh, yeah, we appreciate this feedback. So let's talk uh, a bit about what's next uh, for the Hackfest participants and for those uh, who will uh, would uh, like uh, to participate in uh, such events in the future. So first of all, yeah, we said that uh, there would be schwag and prizes, and there uh, would be. So we are processing uh, the hard test results. Uh, we will be contacting uh, the participants soon. Um, yeah, there will be t-shirts, there will be um, other goodies we will be distributing soon. Uh, so stay tuned. And uh, we have your contacts, so it will just happen in a, in a few weeks because we still need to finalize some details but we will definitely do that. Um, we will also appreciate your feedback uh, about the Hackfest, about how we could improve. Again, it was our first experience of doing online Hackfest like that. We had a few events before, but uh, they were uh, rather focused on a particular topic or they were part of Hacktoberfest or other wider events. So if you would like to share your insights, uh, please uh, fill uh, in uh, the feedback form. This feedback is fully anonymous, uh, and we will appreciate uh, any suggestions, uh, any feedback about what we could do better. And of course, if you have something uh, um, uh, positive to share about your experience or something we could repost, it would be also much appreciated because uh, we could use this information for the future. Hopefully it won't be uh, our last event of such kind. Uh, we have already started discussing uh, um, having more events. So your feedback uh, would be uh, very appreciated. Now we will share links later in the email to all the contributors, but if you want, you can find it uh, here. And uh, after the event, we invite you to keep contributing. So Hackfest, uh, yeah, it was, uh, um, just an event, but the Jenkins project is open 24-7, uh, any day, any time of the week. Uh, we appreciate your contributors. Uh, we have documentation uh, which describes how to contribute. For example, if you want to code, if you want to help with documentation or piece design, we have some stories for you. If you want to help with infrastructure and other things, uh, we also have some documentation. Uh, so. Uh, we will appreciate any kind of your contributions to the project and we invite you to keep contributing uh, to the Jenkins project after the event. Uh, there are some uh, programs happening now. For example, uh, there is a Google season of docs for those who are interested in documentation and um, um, there will be other events uh, for hackers. For example, Hacktoberfest in October uh, and maybe we will organize more events. But if you see an issue in Jenkins, which impacts your user experience, if you want to contribute to fixing that, not by writing code, but uh, just helping uh, to plan this issue, helping, uh, helping to find proper solutions or to facilitate contributions to this area, we will appreciate that. And if you need uh, any help, if you cannot find uh, a way to contribute, there are two channels. One is for newcomer contributors, another one 
uh, for in advocacy and advocacy. So if you have any idea how we could improve Jenkins as a project, uh, uh, we will appreciate your contribution, uh, even if it's not a code one. Uh, and uh, we will uh, um, be happy to help uh, to make it happen and to find a proper uh, venue to discuss uh, this change and to uh, make it deliver. So, and that's all for me. Uh, for me. Uh, again, thanks to everybody who contributed uh, to the Jenkins project. Uh, thanks to all the first contributors and thanks to all the thousands of contributors uh, who work on the Jenkins project uh, during the, um, uh, the year. So, for example, last year we uh, have got 5,500 contributors and this number keeps rising. So, thanks to everyone who helps to implement these features, reviews, uh, review features, uh, deliver them and uh, share information so that uh, we can um, help users to use uh, all these uh, new features we deliver in the project. Thanks all. Okay, um, are there any questions? Uh, okay, are there any feedback, any feedback or comments? We can okay. discuss with them. Sumit, Sumit just posted, thank you very much to the organizers and reviewers saying it was an amazing experience. And I agree, it was a, that was quite a treat to work with people across so many places in so many ways has been just a lot of fun. Yeah, and for us, this fun doesn't end because we still need to review all these pull requests. <laughs> we have a backlog. Uh, yeah, we merged uh, many pull requests uh, using Hackfest, and if your pull request uh, didn't get merged, uh, please uh, stay patient. We will definitely get to that. So we uh, track all uh, the feature pull requests, all the documentation pull requests, whether it's Jenkins IO and plug insights. So we will uh, do our best to help them to get landed. I was I was truly impressed. A number of the new contributors chose issues that I thought and actually had described as, hey, this is a more challenging topic. They picked them and they started working on them and they made great progress. Uh, it was it was quite surprising to me. I thought, oh, this is going to be a very hard issue. No way will we get progress on this during the Hackfest. And I was wrong. We got really interesting progress on some what were challenging and daunting issues, not just the good for first time contributors, impressive in both fronts. Yeah. So, yeah, for example, there were some unexpected developments like the dark theme. Yeah, dark theme is just a part of the story, but real uh, story that we completely reworked uh, Jenkins internals to make it happen. Mm. Um, with help of uh, multiple contributors and uh, later it will help uh, any uh, theme developer uh, whether it's uh, uh, theme host on Jenkins CI or whether it's an uh, internal theme you create for your company you will be able to benefit from this story and uh, there are already follow-up developments so for example uh, Tim Jacob he started working on uh, um, uh, a better way to select themes and to get them adopted, including user-defined themes. So you as a Jenkins user would be able to choose themes without asking your admin uh, to change uh, the theme globally. There was some experience with marketplaces, with discoverability of the plugins. So there is a lot of stories which will still happen or have already started happening. Also, yeah. We didn't talk about pipeline as YAML, uh, which was uh, one of the major points of feedback. But again, there are uh, some changes happening there. So, and we will uh, definitely get there. Okay. Right. So now one of the questions is, can the timings in the meetup be shared in IST? And I'm not sure what, what that means. Oleg, do you have a guess on what that's saying? I guess I esteem in Indian standard time. So it's uh, definitely something uh, you could uh, provide as a feedback uh, in the feedback form. So yeah, we were sharing everything in UTC. There are online time converters, but we didn't uh, use them on the website because for example, due to the limitations of platform, for example, if you go to online meetup, uh, it's even more challenging than just UTC because the meetup is located in uh, London time which is UTC plus one at the moment. And even people who were located in London were sometimes confused. 
So, but unfortunately, we cannot easily change that without uh, changing the platform. At the same time, we could uh, make it better on our side because there are services. So, if you see things like that, uh, please just share that in your feedback form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other comments, feedback, whatever about the event? Okay, if not, uh, we'll just uh, process this recording, pub publish it online. And after that, uh, yeah, we'll start as, uh, working with other contributors synchronously to um, get more information and uh, to publish summaries. I have also started working on a blog post for your improvements. I guess Mark has already started working on a blog post for documentation. As always, it will take a while, but we will do that and stay tuned. We will publish that. Thank you very much, Oleg. Excellent, yep. excellent work organizing it. What a pleasure it's been to work. You've been great. Thank you, thank you. The community thanks you, and I thank you personally. Thanks very much. Thanks for the feedback, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that alone. There were so many people helping to organize the things including uh, planning of the stories, documentation, etc. So, yeah. Okay, any feedback before we stop the recording? Yes, just wanted to, uh, this is Vlad, just wanted to thank you again, Oleg and Mark, for organizing mm -hmm. this in perfect uh, manner, I guess. And so allowing everybody, including newcomers, to contribute uh, in any possible way to this event. It was nicely organized and I hope that you will have a very good results for everybody. Uh, just on a quick note, and this is, I guess, more related to Mark, uh, are results of this Hackfest going to be uh, somehow uh, considered for uh, Google uh, Season of Docs uh, uh, application or submissions and, or it's separate thing? So if I understand Google Season of Docs correctly, one of the ways that they assess participation is active is participation in things like this. So I, I, my expectation is that this would be contributions to this would be considered valuable and viewed positively as part of the evaluation process for Google Season of Docs. Now, Oleg's got more experience in this field than I do. Oleg, your comments? Yeah, yeah, you're totally right. Moreover, uh, we reference this Hackfest as one of uh, potential ways to get started with contributing to documentation. So, yeah, we will uh, take uh, contributions into account and uh, it's all uh, really a way to do some community bonding. Uh, there are a lot of discussions about the documentation. And yeah, I think uh, we can keep working on that. Thank so, you very much again for organizing this. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, if I recall correctly, um, the application phase for Google Season of Dogs starts uh, in two weeks on June 13th, right? So, uh, yeah, on, June, June, on June actually read, June, Okay, yeah, I, I, I think you're right that it's we're not there yet, but it's coming soon. And the, okay. yeah, June 8th, and the conclusion is July 8th, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, if anyone is interested to contribute to documentation and to spend a bit more time with the Jenkins project working on documentation, you're welcome to join the Google Season of Docs program. And uh, yeah, we will see what uh, will be the number of uh, contributors applying because yeah, Google Season of Docs uh, has limited number of slots, but we still have other options like Community Bridge, like uh, maybe hosting another program. So if you're interested in documentation and the Jenkins project, please contact us and let's see what we can do there. Okay, any other comments or questions? Thanks to everyone for joining this call and thanks to everyone uh, for participating in the event. So, mm.
Oh, there is a question about how can I contribute to documentation. Mark, would you like to speak about that? I think I may have frozen. Oleg, can you still hear me? Yes, I can, but uh, yeah, you definitely uh, froze. Okay, so, so the documentation con contributions are welcomed and encouraged. Go to Jenkins.io and you can see on the contribute page, um, on the mm -hmm. participate page, there's a documentation link. There it gives a number of places and ways that you could help documentation. Uh, mm -hmm. And they include things like revisions to existing pages, migration of wiki pages, uh, converting plugins mm -hmm. from using wiki to using GitHub as their documentation source, all sorts of different ways that you can contribute to documentation. Yeah. And basically, we will welcome any kind of contribution if you're an active user of Jenkins. Just uh, think what is missing in the documentation, try to improve that. If you're looking for something uh, new, there are uh, newcomer stories um, where you can uh, basically find uh, um, uh, different tickets. And I guess we still need to put a link to Jenkins IO here. Uh, but I mean, to GitHub issues. Uh, but in general, you can find all the information here. Right. And we'll be creating, I expect to create several new first, first time issues this week because the good first issues process and the GitHub issues has worked so well that I'll create some more this week based on the triage work from the wiki transformation. Yeah. So thank you for this question. Okay, I'll probably start, uh, stop the recording. And see you again at uh, Jenkins Online Meetups uh, or at other events. So the next online meetup uh, is scheduled to Thursday. It will be uh, a story about uh, verifying builds with Captain um, and Jenkins. So if you're interested in cloud native environments, please feel free to join us. Thanks, Oleg. Bye for yeah. now. Thanks, all. Bye.